2021 has been great and many other things. But apart from the massive global semiconductor shortage, a lot of good tech came out this year. Here are my top five. Number five, 2021 MacBook Pro and M1 Pro and Max. I normally don't recommend Apple devices, but the raw performance and efficiency is hard to ignore which is why I'm even considering switching my workstation to a MacBook Pro or a Mac at least of some sort. They handily beat any laptop in its price range and compete with top-end desktops running AMD Ryzen 5950X and such, and while running on battery. Yeah, the battery lasts 15 to 20 hours with normal use and 10 hours with heavy workloads such as video editing, which is crazy to think of on Windows side of things. So definitely gets a mention from me. Number four, Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. While the phone side of things, everything has been kind of competitive and mostly similar. Watches on the other hand have been mostly dominated by Apple because of pure lethargy from Qualcomm until they launched Snapdragon Wear 4100. Now, I had it on my TicWatch Pro 3, but having it on mainstream watches such as Fossil and Samsung coming up with their own chip on Watch 4, what is running Wear OS 3 for the first time, it's pretty impressive. Why? Because Samsung was pushing Tizen past few years, which is their own OS, and they switching to Wear OS, which means a lot for the platform. And even Pixel Watch is also rumored this year which I think should even the playing field because Google has Tensor now and the machine learning capabilities along with it. Number three, another Apple product this time. It's the cheapest they make and it's the AirTag. Now, even if you don't have an iPhone, there are people out there using Apple devices that can help find your lost device either by locating it or pinging it to your Android smartphone, which is a new thing for Apple making it cross-platform, apart from their dreadful Apple Music app, in my opinion. It's simply a useful product, and while everything can be used for good or bad, which from the news that I've been reading, it's not good, but it also has helped a lot of people. So if you keep forgetting your phone or things or even your bike behind, or want to track the person who stole it, Apple AirTag is what you need. Number two, Nintendo Switch OLED. Now, I have owned the Nintendo Switch since the launch and have never felt the need to upgrade to OLED version. But once you see it, you cannot go back to LCD. It's that good. And if you don't own a portable gaming console, Nintendo Switch OLED is the best you can get that has AAA titles as well as TV support if you like the couch gaming aspect. Number one, Pixel 6. Now Pixel 6, even though I'm a bit mad that they didn't launch it in India, is a huge leap forward for Google because they switched to their own silicon, aka Google Tensor, and they did all that with a price tag that is not a thousand dollars, at least for the Pixel 6, plus the five years of software updates that is cherry on top. So those were my favorite Five, what do you think I missed or what is your favorite list of tech that came out in 2021? Let me know down in the comments below and while you're at it, smash that like button and if you found this video helpful, consider subscribing and dinging that notification bell if you want to watch more content like this. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.